All right, guys, I'm coming at you with a little lipo comparison video. I've seen a couple people do um, comparisons, like in vehicle. What I'm planning on doing is we're going to do a uh, IR check. This right here is going to tell us the uh, IR of the battery and give us an approximate readout in amps what they're capable of. 6500. MAH, SMC, Speed Run Drag Series, and the 6000 China Hobby Line, 70C. So let's start with the, they're both, they're both room temperature, 70 degrees, and 70 degrees. That matters, guys, when you're checking IR, internal resistance. So what we're going to do here. We're going to hook the batteries up to the meter. All right. We're going to set the milliamp. The 6,000, so no hundreds. Oh. Ah, hang on. All right. 6,000 milliamp. Oh, daggum. Alright, 6,000 milliamp. Now, the newer style meter, you don't have to plug in cells one at a time, but this is the, the first, one of the first meters they came out with. I heard this about two years probably. So, we're going to go red. Check the first cell. If I can get these things in, there we go. Oh, hang on. All right, 6,000 milliamp. 3.85 volt. It says it's 1.32 ohms is the IR reading, 28C. Go for 168 amps on the first cell. Go to the second cell, 27C, 1.36 ohms, or milliamps, I mean, milliohms, sorry about that guys, 165 amp. Let's get that plugged in. All right. 1.4, God, it's getting worse as it goes. 163 amp, 27C still. And the last cell, 1.3627C, 165 amp. This right here, guys, obviously this battery could put out more than 165 amps because I've ran over 500 amps on my Limitless with the uh, 1100 in it. But this gives you a comparison of what I use this for as a tool to see where my um what my IR is and to see the how the cells are doing like if this drops to 150 obviously you know the cells are getting weaker I would want to probably start replacing these batteries before long that's what I use it as as just a tool to uh keep an eye on my batteries but now remember that was 28c at the best 1.3 um milliohm that was my best reading is 1.3 so let's see what the SMC does these batteries both have you know a couple cycles on them all maybe no more than three or four so they're both fairly new um, and this right here is a 5 6500 so we'll set up hundreds 500 6500 milliamp. All right. Now we'll go to our first cell. I'm both on storage charge, guys. When I started, hmm, about the same 1.32. Little, a little stronger, so you would get a little more performance. I think that was 168 amps, 175. But it says it's only 26C, 
but the extra 500 um, milliamp hour gives me a higher amp rating. So that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty even, guys. Surprises me. All right, cell two. 175 again, 1.32, 26C. One seventy five amps, one point three two. The only difference I see here is all these cells are the same um IR. This one started off higher on the first cell and as I worked down it got a little you know a little bit weaker. Um so probably better cell matching with the SMC lipo than the uh, China hobbies. And now that one is my strongest one there, but 177 amps, 1.28 IR. And I know some people are going to say, well, they seem better on their um, chargers when they're charging. I've also seen better than uh, 1.28. Usually I'm in the decimals, like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 0 0.9, 1.0 on this lipo. But this just is a ballpark tool, guys. It helps you... Uh, Helps you see how your batteries are doing. Um, obviously, you know, like I say, this is going to pull more than 177 amps. But if you monitor your lipos, you can see this lipo is a little stronger than the China Hobbies. And I've seen that in, in real life testing also. Um, that's why I prefer the, the uh, SMC. But the China Hobbies, God, it's a good plug. They, uh, they run good, guys. I mean... The only thing I can say about these SMC is they are, they're tall, they're thick. So it makes it hard to fit in a lot of vehicles, guys. But yeah, that's my, uh, that's my video, guys, on the, uh, using the, um, LiPo meter, ESR meter, equivalent series resistance. So, you know, take that for what, what you will. I do prefer the, uh, SMC lipos myself. These run good though. I'm not taking anything away from China Hobbies. I've seen some crazy numbers people get out of these. But another thing I like is my China Hobbies. I don't know if you can see that, guys. I don't know if you can read it. 10 gauge wire versus my um, SMCs. Well, you don't have any writing, but you can see the gauge is running 8 gauge on the SMC. So it's quite a bit bigger wire. Which I prefer for, for you know pulling a lot of amps. But anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this short, guys. I just wanted to give y'all a little a little uh, demonstration of the lipo meter, different IRs, and how it equals on the amps. I don't know how they um, came up with you know how many amps or whatever how they did that. But like I say, I use it mainly as a tool to find my strongest lipos to when I'm gonna go out and make a run. I want to use the best lipos I can. So that's what I use it for. Because if it said like 168 versus 175, well, in real world, 7 amps ain't going to be much. But we but we all know that, that you can pull hundreds of amps off these batteries, guys, in a, in a peak. So that's what I use it for. But anyway, I'm talking too much, guys. Um, so that's pretty good because these are pretty close, guys. So take it for what you will. I just want to do a little short video and show you what I was what I got here you know it's all, like I said there's a newer version of this but this is the old version the newer one I believe you plug the whole balance plug into and it probably breaks it down like one two three four but um uh, either way guys that's my video on uh lipo resistance a little comparison for you between the probably in my mind the top two lipos out right now SMCs and the China Hobby 70C 6000 all right guys appreciate you watching comment like and